In this video I'm going to demonstrate how using a weak WPA key can make it very easy for an attacker to crack and gain access to your Wi-Fi network. Now just like the last video I've got um, Backtrack 5 here running in a virtual environment and I've got all of the commands that we're going to be running up here on the left. So the first one is to go ahead and use ifconfig to grab the name of your wireless adapter which is just WLAN 0 for me. So we're going to go ahead and do ifconfig WLAN 0 down and we're going to power that down so that we can use the Mac changer to spoof a new Mac address for us. So it's just Mac changer dash M, the Mac address that you want to change the adapter to, and then the name of the interface that you want to change. And as you can see, it's changed the Mac there, and then we're just going to bring the adapter back online. Now, once the adapter's back up, we're going to use M on NG, start, and then WLAN 0, which should give us. A monitor interface as you can see here is mon0 and we're going to run aerodump on mon0 and just have a look what Wi-Fi networks are actually in range of us right now so as you can see there's a nice Wi-Fi network here that's actually called WPA penetration test so you can go ahead and hit control C which will cancel that command and what you want to do is just take a copy of the BSS ID which is the MAC address of the access point that we're going to be attacking now we're going to restart aerodump here, except this time we're going to do a slightly more specific attack. So you're going to use dash dash BSS ID, and then you need to paste in the MAC address of the access point that we've just copied. We're going to use dash C, which is the channel. So if you look up here, you can see in the channel column, it's on channel 11. And then we're going to do dash W, which is the file we're going to write to. So we're going to call this one hack WPA. And then you need to put the monitor interface in that we're going to be listening on. So Aerodump is now listening on the monitor interface to our target access point and what we need to do now is deauthenticate one of the clients from the access point in order to sniff the WPA handshake. So fire up another terminal window and as you can see the command is here it's air replay dash ng we're going to do a zero which is a deauthentication attack and then 30 is the number of deauthentication attempts that we're going to make. Uh, dash A is the BSS ID of the access point again. So just paste in the one that you copied. And then Monza is the interface that we want to use. So what it's doing now is it's going to attempt to deauthenticate any client that's connected to the access point. And for most devices, when they do deauthenticate, they will automatically try and then reauthenticate to the access point, which will allow us to sniff the WPA handshake, which is what we need to crack the key. So now that's finished, we can just go ahead and exit that one. And as you can now see up here, we've captured a WPA handshake for this particular BSS ID, which is the BSS ID of the access point we're looking at. So one of the clients was deauthenticated, they did reconnect, and we've now managed to capture that handshake. So you can use Control C again now to cancel that command because we've got the handshake, that's all that we need to capture. Unlike the WEP attack, where we actually needed to capture quite a considerable amount of traffic. So the next command, we're going to use aircrack again. We're going to specify dash W, and I've actually got in here a password list that I've downloaded, and I'll provide the link in the blog called darkcode.lst. And this is just basically a dictionary list of passwords that we're going to try to use to crack the WPA handshake. So if to specify that, it's darkcode.lst. And we're going to do dash B, and then paste in again the BSS ID of the access point. And then it's HackWPA. We're going to use the star wildcard again, just in case Aerodump did break that down. And we're going to set that off cracking now. And what this is going to do now is it's just going to go through every single password that was in the dictionary list, which was darkcode.lst. And it's going to try that against the WPA handshake that was captured. Now, if it finds a match, then we've successfully cracked the key. You know what the WPA key is, and then you can use that to log onto the network. Now, because this is running in a virtual environment, it's actually quite slow. So I'm just going to pause the video while it finishes cracking this and hopefully when we come back we should have cracked the WPA key. And there we go. In a little under 7 minutes Aircrack has successfully found the WPA key for this particular network. And the reason that it's been able to find it so quickly is because it's quite a weak key that's using words that can be found in the dictionary. So whenever you're creating a WPA key or any kind of password or security key, always ensure that it's a sufficient strength to stand up to an attack like this.